and welcome to session two of Gateway Church's Vision and Values course. So glad that you're able to join us and be with us today. You may uh, hopefully have done session one where Sam so well uh, unpacked some of why church and why have uh, membership of a church. And if you like, he painted the big picture for us. Uh, it's my joy today to zoom in a bit and have a look specifically at, at our local church, Gateway Church. And uh, as you're kind of uh, feeling us out, getting to know us, uh, hopefully this session will give you some of the history of the church, some of what we value, and also look forward as to where we're going as a church family. So if you've uh, got one of these, please uh, pull it open, pull open a pen, a Bible, and um, let's get started on session two of the Vision and Values course. So the first question we want to ask is, where has Gateway come from and where is it going? Where has Gateway come from and where, it, where is it going? Now, Gateway Church didn't exist in the year 2000. Um, actually, what happened, a couple called Tony and Kay Smith moved up from down south with a sense of vision and calling to plant a church in Leeds. And uh, what they did is, is went to a, a citywide prayer meeting uh, to, to kind of tell people about what was going on. Um, one of the people there, while they were praying, um, they said, I feel like God is going to make this church into a gateway for heaven into Leeds. Uh, God is going to make this church a gateway for the lost to find salvation. And God is going to make this church a gateway to the nations and in that moment uh, there was a real kind of sense that God himself had named the church plant and it was named by leaders in the city which was kind of a nice moment of being welcomed into the city so that was the name that stuck gateway that's how it came about um, gateway church and it was in year 2000 that Tony and Kate started to gather a few people in a house and praying together, worshipping together, reading the Bible, and asking God to birth a church community in Leeds. Now, over the years, um, that family's grown, and uh, we've met in various different venues over the last 20-odd uh, years. Um, we've met in um, a theatre, uh, a school, uh, a college, uh, a gardening centre, um, until eventually we moved into our family home, uh, St. Mark's in 2014, and there's an amazing story about how God provided for us and so clearly directed and led us to make this our family home. One of the real kind of visions we've had in our DNA as a church family is to be a church that plants churches. So even when we, we initiated the, the church plant in the year 2000, we wanted to start praying and thinking about where we would send people out to plant other churches. And indeed, uh, the hope and prayer was that those churches we planted would go on to plant other churches. And what's been amazing to see over the last 20 odd years is that vision has come into reality. So we've had the joy of playing a significant part in, in planting five different churches uh, around the area, in Doncaster, Harrogate, Bradford, Liverpool, and sending a, a couple to go and plant into Halifax uh, as well. And it's a, a joy to hear and be in contact with those churches now who themselves are indeed planting other churches uh, into the nation. So we're looking at our past, uh, and we've seen we've started in the year 2000. We've seen that we started with a handful of people in a living room, and we've grown over the years. We've met in different places. We've planted different churches, and we've also done some pretty exciting things that God's led us to do. Um, let's give a, a couple of examples of those. One of those is initiating the Leeds Citywide Alpha. And so it was a joy to gather together 36 different local churches and organizations from across Leeds and, and spearhead this initiative to launch a Leeds uh, Alpha course. And uh, we just love working with other people. And so that was a real joy uh, to do that together. I remember walking into the town hall, seeing it full and uh, handing out these little booklets where we could point to all the different churches around Leeds that people could connect with. Another exciting initiative we got involved with is a project called Hear From Heaven. And uh, we were kind of 
just a bit frustrated really with uh, lots of our friends going to the psychic nights and not wanting to come to church. So we thought what we'll do is put on the Christian answer to a psychic night um, called Here From Heaven. Uh, we rented out uh, a pub and um, we basically used gifts of the Holy Spirit um, to demonstrate the love and power of Jesus for people. And it was so wonderful to see different people engage uh, with Christ's love for them on those evenings. One of the really exciting things we got involved in was when we uh, launched the opening of this building. Uh, we had some different parties and celebrations, but we also really wanted to launch it on the foundation of uh, the Bible, the Word of God, which we so value here and that Sam unpacked uh, for us in the last session. So we decided, hey, let's read the whole thing. And so as a community together, over 75 hours nonstop, we read the whole Bible from Genesis 1 verse 1 right to the end of Revelation and it was um, just felt like a really amazing way to launch uh, the opening of this building. So we've looked at our past, uh, we've looked at how we came uh, to Leeds in the year 2000, we've met in different places, we've grown, we've planted different churches, um, we've been involved in, in outreach, in partnership with other people, um, we, we've um, uh, launched our building here by reading through the whole Bible. Um, but what about our present right now? Um, what is Gateway like? Well, let me show you the family photo. Um, here's uh, on your screen, you can see uh, the last family photo we had. This was a, a church weekend away that we had. And um, this is the Gateway family. This is where we're up to. And um, so many faces uh, there that I just have so much love for. And likewise, I know uh, love me. It's so good to be part of a local church family. Um, but drilling down into some more detail uh, about who we are, I really want to encourage you to uh, visit our website. And uh, if you're looking at a computer screen now, you might just want to press pause on me right now and visit gatewayleads.net. That's www.gatewayleads.net, gatewayleads.net. And on that website, you can uh, hit the About button and look at the team. And you can see there uh, our staff team, and you can see our eldership team. And our elders are, if you like, the dads of the family, the fathers of the household. And um, we oversee uh, everything that goes on at Gateway. Um, we also have a number of different leadership teams. Um, we have life group leaders. Um, that Sam mentioned, um, our life groups are really kind of critical for outworking our vision of a church. And uh, if you're not part of a life group, that's a small gathering of around about 8 to, to 15 people in, in local neighborhoods. really want to encourage you uh, to find out more about that. And uh, we'd love to welcome you along to a life group. So um, legally, in terms of our structure, we um, have two charities and therefore two sets of trustees we have the gateway building trust that oversees the building uh, that god has given us and we have the gateway church trustees who oversee the legal operation of us as a charity some more about our present then so we're around about a family of 200 uh, people uh, from across leeds uh, we have elders, we have different leaders, we have uh, two sets of trustees, we have uh, life group leaders. Some more about us as a church family. Um, we have lots of different teams that help uh, us function, specifically on a Sunday. We have teams that oversee our media, our, our video, our audio, our refreshments, our welcome, our worship, our youth. Uh, we have a whole host of different teams, and it may well be that you carry a sense of passion and calling to serve on one of those teams, and we'd love to talk to you about that. Uh, we also are involved in lots of different outre outreach initiatives. Uh, we work closely with partners like Alpha, um, CAP, who are called Christians Against uh, Poverty, uh, TLG, Transforming Lives for Good. Um, we also have a, a youth outreach uh, on a Friday. We run a, a TOTS program. Uh, we do a food bank. Uh, we have uh, 
what we call live at St. Mark's, where we have kind of festivals uh, at this building, and we have a community cafe, and we do a whole host of different things uh, to reach out with the love of Jesus and care for people uh, across the city and in our locality. We also have a number of different kind of um, areas of ministry, if you like, or areas where uh, people come together over a common purpose within our church. So uh, a lot of our guys get together and do different stuff, and our, our women uh, get together, um, and our, our students get together and have some of their own uh, programs. So we've looked at the past, uh, year 2000, Gateway Church. Uh, now here's where we are in the present. We've unpacked some of um, how we're structured, what we do. And now looking towards the future, where are we going? And um, I think this really can be best described through our vision statement. And we're going to pop that um, up on the screen for you. It says this. We exist to love Jesus and love people by knowing him and making him known. God is growing us into a large, all sorts family from across Leeds that impacts Woodhouse, the city, and the world. Come and join the adventure. So that's our, our vision statement. We've looked at our past, we looked at our present. Well, where are we going? Well, we're going here. Um, we primarily exist to love Jesus and love people. Um, and we do that by knowing Jesus, but also making him known. Um, we want to emphasize both. We want to emphasize knowing him through prayer and study and worship and getting to know one another, actually. But we also want to prioritize making him known. God's given us a mission to share this good news of Jesus. And then God is growing us. We don't actually think we're primarily growing us. Um, we think actually God is among us and with us and he is growing us into what? We actually think a large family. So we always want to remain a family that's on our heart. It's in our DNA that will not change. We are primarily a family. But we sense the Holy Spirit speaking to us that actually God wants to grow a large family here. We want to become a large church not just so we can be large, we're not interested in that. No, we're interested in becoming large so that we can be a resource for other churches um, across the nation and into the nations. Um, we feel like God's asked us to, to partner with him to build a large church here that can have significant impact. And we think God's growing us into a large all sorts family from across Leeds. Um, wherever you are in Leeds, we want to welcome you. In fact, there are some who live outside Leeds that are with us and have joined us. And we believe God has given us a city-wide vision. So if you're not local to Woodhouse, where the building's based, that's great, because actually we have a city-wide vision. And we want to actually impact the world, um, not just our locality here, Woodhouse, not just the city of Leeds, but also impact the nations. And it's been a real joy to see God open up different partnerships from India to Uganda um, to China um, to other nations around the world. And um, we so value uh, having not just a local impact literally to our neighbors across the street, not just to the city, but also having an impact um, in different places of the world. And so we want to enjoy um, and implore you to come and join the adventure. And uh, we hope and pray that if God is calling you here, he would make it clear. Uh, if he's calling you to be part of this family, we'd love you to come and join the adventure. And it is an adventure. Um, we, we kind of don't have a set strategic plan for the next 10, 15 years. We have some planning, yes, we, we think things through. But ultimately, we're on an adventure because we're following what the Holy Spirit is saying. When I um, read the Gospels, I think it must just be amazing because you, you'd wake up every morning and think, gosh, what is Jesus going to lead us to do today? You think the disciples must have thought that. And in the same way, we want to listen to Jesus. What is he saying to us? And we want to be obedient and follow him. So we've looked at our past, year 2000, a few people meeting in uh, a front room. We've planted different churches, 
Uh, we've got to where we are today, a family of around 200, um, and we're going forward. We want, we're on an adventure with Jesus, and we want to see um, things impacted. What we'd love to do is hear your story, and there's a place in the booklet. Maybe you want to press pause right now and think through, okay, what's some of your story? Where have you come from in terms of your relationship with Jesus? What has God done with you up to this point? Where are you now with Jesus? And what's your future look like? Maybe you even want to think about a vision statement for your life. Where is God going to direct you in the future? And this will be really helpful because we'd love to meet with you. If after these two sessions, you want to be part of the family here, you want to say, yes, I'm in, or you just want to explore it a bit more, we'd love to meet with you and talk with you and get to know you a bit better. And as a part of that process, we want to share more about us, yes, but we really want to get to know you. Um, that's part of what being a family is about. And so for you to thought that through a bit would be wonderful and helpful. And you could even come with a booklet. Um, we could talk through what you've written there. So why don't you pause me now and think about what is your story? So we've looked at the past, present, and future of Gateway Church. We want to move on now to look about um, the family of churches that we're a part of. And um, we are part of a, a family of churches called New Frontiers. But actually, over the last few years, there's been a significant change in how that family of churches is organized. And so my trusty friend now is going to line up a little video. And uh, we're going to see this video that kind of explains some of what has happened over the last few years in terms of how New Frontiers has changed and we've become part of a network of churches called Christ Central Churches. So if we've got that, we'll watch that. New Frontiers is a global family of churches. It began in the 1970s and has grown to include more than 850 churches in 60 nations. Over the last few years, New Frontiers has restructured, getting ready for future growth. It has multiplied from one movement into several networks, with five based in the UK. We're calling these new network of churches Spheres. Each has a leader and churches gather to Spheres based on relationships. These networks have been developing within New Frontiers for some time. Like every family, we share the same DNA, the same history, the same mission. We are all still friends, visiting one another, celebrating together and supporting one another. But as one movement becomes many, we can do so much more. Wonderful. So, New Frontiers, uh, it started in the 1970s and there was a, a guy called um, Terry Virgo and he um, kind of uh, initiated, um, not intentionally actually, a, a family of churches called New Frontiers. And rather than hand on a suit to a successor, he handed on to um, several different um, leaders to lead their own movements, if you like. And so um, through our relationship um, with a guy called Jeremy Simpkins, uh, we've joined um, the family of churches called Christ Central Churches. And again, you might want to pause me and check out their website. Um, it's www.christcentralchurches.org. That's christcentralchurches.org. And on that website, you can read more about the team. Uh, you can see what Christ Central is up to. And you can also uh, access loads of great media content on there. There's, there's loads of great talks, podcasts. And uh, if you're into that kind of thing, um, you can check that out. And we just love being part of Christ Central Churches. Um, we receive so much help and assistance um, from being part of this wider family, um, where we have genuine friendship and relationship uh, with a whole host of different church leaders uh, across the country and across the nations of the world. Um, specifically now, Christ Central Churches represents uh, around 275 different churches in 25 uh, different nations. Uh, there's a whole host of churches in different African nations, a number of churches in Ukraine, Canada, Mexico, and different places in Europe, and many in the UK. 
And so we value receiving input from them, support from them, but also we love to bless and support and partner with these churches as well. Um, we love gathering together in different contexts. And if you're part of the Gateway family and you, you've been coming on Sundays, uh, we may well have introduced you to different friends uh, from the movement. Within your booklet there, you've got a whole list of uh, the 17 values of Christ Central Churches. These have literally been cut and pasted from New Frontiers values. And what would be great is if you could just pause me and read through those and think about, hmm, do any of them strike you as a bit odd or you don't understand any wording in there or you think one of those is really good again it would be great to meet with you following this course and for you to bring your booklet along and say i just want to ask about number seven what does that actually mean um so why don't you pause me now and just take a few minutes to read through the 17 values of christ central churches Hopefully that's been helpful. So where are we up to? Session one, you may remember, we looked at the big picture. Why church? Why membership? Session two, now we're drilling down a bit into Gateway Church. We've looked at our past, present and future. And we've looked at the family of churches that we're a part of. And we've started to look at those values that Christ Central Churches have. Um, we'd love just to spend a minute now looking at some of um, the values of Gateway Church. And um, this will help us, again, just drill down to a bit more detail about what we value at Gateway Church. When we say what are our values, that's what we mean. What do we value? What do we prize? What's really important uh, to us? And there are many things that we value at Gateway Church. Um, we value the 17 values of Christ Central Churches. But actually, in terms of having values that are memorable, that we can draw to mind, um, that succinctly or in a small way, summarize what is important to us, we have five values that we often bang on about at Gateway Church. And so here's the first one. We keep the main thing the main thing. We keep the main thing the main thing. Or what does that mean, Chris? What do you mean the main thing? Well, the main thing is Jesus Christ and the good news of his kingdom. And so, so we keep that the main thing. And there will be many things that we disagree on, you and me, and I and we and all of us will have disagreements, different emphasis when we come together. But it's therefore so vital that we keep the main thing the main thing. There's more that unites us than separates us. When we keep our eyes together fixed upon the main thing and we keep that the main thing, things will go well for us as a church family. So we keep the main thing the main thing. Uh, the second value we have is this. It's okay to not be okay. It's just not okay to set up home there. It's okay to not be okay. Uh, and we genuinely mean that. And, and so here as a, a church family, we prize not just honesty, as in, oh, yeah, I used to struggle with this a few years ago, but now I'm fine. We actually um, value vulnerability, which basically means I'm struggling with this right now and obviously there are appropriate ways of sharing and caring most of this is done in the context of our life groups um, but we just really want to say it's okay to not be okay we don't want to put on religious faces actually grace that sam was unpacking in our first session helps us to to, to be vulnerable helps us to grow a depth of relationship um, as we all admit that i'm struggling right now at different times in our life but it's not okay to set up home there we don't want our problems to become our identity we want to help each other um, through pain and to see um, healing and peace and to see our identity in christ become the main thing okay the third value is this word and spirit together help us grow again some of what sam was unpacking um, someone once said this, an overemphasis on the word and we tend to dry up, an overemphasis on the spirit and his gifts and we tend to blow up, but word and spirit together help us grow up. And so we love just unpacking the Bible, um, immersing ourselves in this truth. But we also really believe, because it says in the Bible actually, in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we believe that 
uh, God is not dead, and therefore, because he's alive, he does things today. He breaks in in miraculous ways. Um, and so we want to do both, and that's a part of what we value here as a church family. Number four, we can do more together than apart, and we love partnering with uh, together as a church family, but also with uh, other organizations, other churches. Um, we don't want to exist in a silo. Um, we love working together with other people wherever we can. And the fifth one is this. We don't do have-tos, but get-tos. I love this one. It kind of really summarizes what we're about in terms of grace. Um, we want to be a grace community that lives and breathes grace, that knows what Sam was unpacking, that, that relationship with Jesus, and out of that, we extend it to others. And so we love saying this to one another. You don't have to, but you get to. Um, you don't have to be a member of this church. You don't have to get involved, but you get to. It's a privilege. It's an honor. And um, we love encouraging one another in that sense of grace. So we've looked at our, our, in session one, you may remember, we looked at why church, why membership. In session two, we've drilled down into Gateway. We've looked at our past, our present, our future. We've uh, looked at our vision. We've looked at uh, the family of churches that we're a part of. Um, New Frontiers and Christ Central. And then we've looked at some of the values of Gateway Church, uh, what we're about and what we prioritize. The last page you'll see there is uh, just some uh, outline of giving financially to Gateway Church. Again, so helpful to say we don't do have tos, we do get tos. You really don't have to give financially to us as a church. But one of the things we'd love to um, just encourage you to think about is playing your part financially if you want to be a part of this family you think yes god has led me here um actually one thing we'd love you to pray and think about is giving financially towards the church to so say that we can fulfill our vision of god growing us into a large all sorts family so uh please uh, prayerfully consider that so that's the end of the um two sessions uh we hope you've enjoyed this vision and values course What's so important to us is that we get to know you and you get to know us face to face, not through a screen. And so we would love to meet with you. Um, the way we go about that is, is if you've already been in contact with someone who's given you this booklet and the link to these videos, you can obviously just correspond with them. But if, if you haven't got a named contact, please just email in office at gatewayleads.net. That's office at gatewayleads.net. And just let us know that you'd uh, love to explore becoming a member more. Um, once we've received that invitation from you, uh, we will meet with you. A leader from Gateway Church will meet with you, uh, get to know you, answer any questions you have, get to hear your story, talk about your gifts and calling. And then if you want to still go ahead with membership, uh, we'll welcome you in to the church family in a way that suits you and uh, fits in with you. Let me just pray uh, for you right now. Father, I thank you for this person or people that are watching this video. I thank you that you love them. I thank you that you sent your son, uh, Jesus Christ, to die for them, that they may have life. And I thank you, uh, Father, that you have come up with this amazing vision to have local families of followers of Jesus all around the world. And Father, I pray if it's right, for whoever's watching this to be, become a part of this family here at Gateway. I pray you'd speak to them, make it clear to them, and I pray you'd feel them, make them feel really warm, warmly welcomed and part of this church family um, so that we can impact the world with your good news. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless and goodbye. Hey.